currently 4 13 a.m. and I am up ready to get my morning started before school. I like to wake up at 4 so that I can get some work done on my second job which is I am a healthy habits coach um, so I check in with my clients, message potential clients, things like that. So I'll do that and then I will get a workout in, shower, get ready for work and leave by 6.30. So <sighs> I woke up pretty easy with no snooze today, which is good because sometimes I'd be struggling. So now I'm going to make my pre-workout drink. And every morning I get on Instagram stories and kind of just give people an update on like my day and stuff while I am doing that. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to come get in <laughs> my comfy spot on the couch right here and get to work. All right, it is 5.30 now. I got a bunch of coaching work done and it feels so nice to come downstairs to the basement because we cleaned it yesterday so it's like all organized and i'm so happy um pulling up my workout on my bike because my bike has like all my workout library connected to it so i'm not riding my bike but i'm streaming my workout from my bike today is cardio okay let me set up my watch and stuff when I don't want to work out, I usually will take my iPad and drape it over the screen. Not so that I can't see it, but so that um, I can see like, I can't see the time because that's what I'll like obsess over is how much time I have left. And um, I'll watch a show. So like this morning, the past hour, while I've been working on my coaching work and um, doing my personal development stuff like that I was watching Vanderpump Rules and I like really want to finish the episode so my incentive to finish the episode was to come down here and get my workout started I've done this program before so I don't like need to hear all of her cues and stuff because I know what is coming next so I'm gonna get Vanderpump Rules pulled up on my iPad drape it over the time here and do my workout while I watch the rest of this episode because it was a good episode. I want to see what happens next. Except apparently I don't Peacock download on here. So I hope I can do that quickly. Oh, Apple password? I don't know. Oh my god. made it through sixth grade. I told them I was having surgery. They didn't really ask any other questions, so we're good there. Um, I will see them. I'll see all these kids one more time before I leave, but everybody else I see over the next five days, it's my last time seeing them, which is crazy, but we just worked on their piano skills. Um, I can go through in detail what my piano lessons look like, but I need to get off to tutoring, so I'll update you on that later. Hello, hello, hello. What a morning it has been. Um, I actually didn't end up tutoring because as soon as I walked out of my room to go, I got a call from my pre-op surgeon. So I let the teacher know that I'd be in as soon as I was done. And when I was done, which that phone call took like 10 minutes, and that phone call took like 10 minutes, and when I was done, I went into his room and he was like, they're just catching up on iReady, so there's really nothing I need help with. And I was like, sweet. So I got like another 20 minutes, and I worked on grades, because midterms are due on Wednesday, so um, I was putting in some of my grades. 
But so far I've taught sixth grade, fourth grade, and third grade. They were all doing keyboards. They all did great. I still have first grade and kindergarten. Um, I told you guys I would explain how I teach keyboards. I have five minutes till lunch starts and my team comes and eats in my room. So hopefully I can get through it in that amount of time. But all my kindergarten through sixth grade students have a keyboard unit. My second through sixth graders, their unit will last longer because they're able to do more. Um, kindergarten is really just in exploration phase and first grade is really um, like half in exploration, half are almost ready to play music. Some of them are, but like not, maybe not even half. Most of them are still in exploration phase, which is fine. So what i do is first i'm very very anal about um how we get the instruments out because i'm keeping them in their keyboard boxes we have let me show you the brand we have the boxes are getting a little beat up but for 600 kids using them for two years it's not that bad i'm gonna have to figure out what i'm gonna do once they finally break down but we have these casio sa77s and so i keep them in those boxes this is what they look like when they're out. This one stays back here, and if I have a student who comes in with behavior issues, they sit at this table and work back here. And then I keep our headphones in here. I've taught them all how to wrap them up, although obviously two of my third graders did not do a good job of that, but most kids do pretty well with that. So I call them individually. Um, to get their headphones, then they take their headphones to their seat, then they come up and get their keyboard from me. I make sure they hold it with one hand on each side of the box so it doesn't slide out. And then they go and sit on the floor, crisscross applesauce behind it. They put the keyboard on top of the box so it's a little bit taller, plug the headphones in, and the first day of class, I gave them all the chance to explore the instrument, press the buttons, whatever. The second day of class, I gave them 15 minutes to explore, and then first grade through third grade, I do something completely different for fourth through sixth. First grade through third grade, the second class, I started teaching them Mary Had a Little Lamb. How I do that is I have this big old keyboard picture up here. It's just a tab I have open, and it has those note names and we learn D is in the doghouse. Someone on Instagram taught me that last year and it has been a game changer. So I go hands up, hands on your head, hands on your shoulders, look down at your keyboard. What are the two colors of the keys? Black and white. If you notice your keys have a pattern, there's groups of three, there's groups of two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Look at those patterns. Give me a peace sign. Put your peace sign on the set of two black notes. Can you say doghouse, doghouse? Say woof, woof, doghouse, woof, woof. Okay, this is called a doghouse. Obviously, I go much slower and I repeat it a lot. And our fingers are on the doghouse. I go around and check, make sure everybody finds their doghouse. Hands up in the air, peace signs, find it again. Hands up in the air, two peace signs, find two doghouses. Once I can tell that they can successfully find the group of two notes, I say, this is the doghouse because D is in the doghouse. And they go, oh my gosh. And then I say, get one finger, aha, and put it on D. And then they find D and I help them navigate where that is if they need help. Um, then we'll do it a few times. If they seem to get it, then we'll go in. Okay, if you can find D, you can play Mary Had a Little Lamb because Mary Had a Little Lamb is E, D, C, D, E, 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 D, 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 E, E, E. I pull up this music to Mary Had a Little Lamb and then I give them time to try to figure it out on their own. I walk around and if kids look really frustrated like they can't figure it out, I will model for them what it looks like with my fingers doing it on their keyboard. Most of them are able to kind of figure it out from there though and then a couple of them will like work with their neighbor which I'm pretty fine with as long as the noise stays low. So once they can play Mary Had a Little Lamb with one hand, then I challenge them to play it with three fingers. If they played it like this, I want them to play it with one hand with three fingers. Then when they can do that, they play it with six fingers, so two octaves. And then once they do that, they can move on to this music. I won't probably have any first graders move on to this. I might have some second graders. I will have third graders graders and up and I have four easy songs and I don't even have it's not sheet music or anything it's just the note names and so I have Mary Had a Little Lamb, London Bridge, Itsy Bitsy Spider, and Old MacDonald. Once they get through those which not a lot of kids will some will by the end of the unit but not a ton I do have three medium songs which have sharps and then they use the black keys and then I have three hard songs which only have the sheet music so the lines and spaces which they do know how to read which brings me to my next 
thing, which is that my fourth through sixth graders this year did not get to all start playing the keyboard at the same time. I made them take a music theory test because at the beginning of the year we spent a lot of time on lines and spaces, on rhythms, and if they passed their music theory test, they got to start keyboards. If they did not pass their music theory test, they got this worksheet, which the front practices the lines and spaces, the back practices rhythms, and then they got to retake the test. Everybody who has retaken the test has passed it the second time. So once they pass the test, then they can play keyboards. But a couple of them, it's been taking them a couple weeks to finish the worksheet and pass the test because they talk too much. <laughs> but the first day when they saw that they really weren't gonna play keyboards, if they didn't pass, they all got to work. I only had like one kid who like just complained and didn't work. Every single other kid in the entire school in fourth or sixth grade who didn't pass their test and saw that other kids in their class got to play keyboards, they got to work. And I of course hone in on the fact that if you didn't pass, it means nothing about how smart you are. It probably has to do with your attendance, if you were talking, and if you zoomed through the test. I told them to let me read it to them, but some of them zoomed through it and they read questions wrong, and so therefore that led to them failing. I didn't have anyone who seemed to be like embarrassed about it. I also told them to let me know if anyone gave them grief about failing the test because they would get a worksheet packet too even if they passed so nobody was like making fun of anybody for failing um and really most of them who failed it was a reading issue or it was a um attendance issue they just haven't been here to learn the material but this worksheet seems to help cover everything that's on the test they seem to actually understand it by the end once they pass the test then they play piano. I teach them the same way that I teach the little kids um, and they move on to the sheet music or the different songs a lot quicker. They get Mary Had a Little Lamb a lot quicker and um, since they're starting at different points, some of them are getting like two, three weeks of exploration on their own before I teach the whole class Mary Had a Little Lamb as a full group because I'm busy working with the worksheet kids, but most of them played last year, so they just jumped in to knowing the note names and stuff. Like, they remembered where the keys were from last year. Well, I am the world's worst vlogger, and let the day get away from me without ever getting my camera out again. Um, it was just hectic during my, I taught fourth grade and third grade after I checked in with you guys. Well, no, I did check in after that because I was, on my plan bell last time I had my camera out. But I was explaining kind of my procedure for my piano unit and I think I got through everything I wanted to share. But um, I can, I'm gonna vlog again later this week um, and I can show you guys kind of what my, um, what those different songs look like and also um, what the test looks like that I gave, because I created that, and yeah, all that good stuff. But tomorrow we are off school, because it's election day, and they use our schools as polling locations, so we're always off on election day, and I'm so excited to just be home and know that I don't have to go to school tomorrow, like how great is that? But after school day, we had to stand out and do a honking wave, like all the teachers would just stand on like the street and like <laughs> wave to encourage people to vote, because we have a levy renewal tomorrow. <laughs> But anyways, I am like so pumped to be off tomorrow. Um, I am going to relax and try to not do any work even for my second job because I just want to chill and eat some food. I really want like good food. Like I want barbecue or something tonight. Like I want something good. So that's the plan for tonight. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog tomorrow when I'm off, but maybe I'll get some clips or something if not. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I rushed in here and got all my grades done before school started. They weren't due till the end of the day, so go me, pretty happy about that. And then um, I ran off copies of my instructions, emergency procedures, that kind of stuff for my sub so that I could look at how it looks printed. And I also copied off my attendance list seating chart information for my sub so that um, I could see how it was going to print but I will do a whole video going through what I'm leaving for my substitute for a long-term sub for music because it's so complicated to leave stuff for them um, especially when they're non-music people she's not a music person but she's like she's like a music enthusiast and she's I think she might have like done music 
like recreationally. So that's good, but not like a music educator or anything. So anyways, um, that's what's happening right now. I'm gonna continue to work on my attendance lists for my sub leave because that's what's taking me forever. And I'm also gonna charge my camera because apparently it's about to die. Happy Thursday. I have sucked at vlogging this week, but it's just been so chaotic. Um, having the two days off and trying to get everything prepared for my sub for next week. Because as of today, I'm done teaching for right now. I have tutoring in a couple minutes. I'm just taping these boxes first. And then I only have three more days of school for my surgery. So I have rushed. But once these boxes are taped, all I need to do is clean one more little piece of a closet. I want to organize it. And then I will be officially ready for my sub. So very excited about that. I wanted to reinforce all these keyboard boxes because my kids are going to keep playing keyboards for a little bit. And some of the boxes, 600 kids or 550 kids, playing them every week for two years. Um, some of the boxes are starting to fall apart. So I'm just reinforcing all of them on the seam and the one side of the closure. So they're only using one side to close it because eventually they're all gonna fall apart. So might as well fix them now and be ahead of the issue. But it was like a pretty decent week. I told my kids the last two days that I had, I told them about my surgery because this was the last time that I'll see them before I leave because I have a five day rotation for specials. So I only see kids every six days. And so by the time these kids come back to music, they will not have me anymore. So I wanted to prepare them so that they knew like the expectation and they know like they're just not coming in all crazy and confused and obnoxious since it's gonna be a long-term thing. Um, and they all received it really well. A lot of the classes, when I told them I was having surgery, they didn't really ask any other questions. They were just like, oh, okay. And they just wanted to know who the sub was. That was like their main concern. And most of them are very excited when I tell them who it is. Um, Cause she's like the best, we all love her. But the, a couple of my classes wanted like a lot of details. So how I'm describing it is I'm telling them that my grandma had cancer and my great grandma cancer and my dad had cancer. And when my dad got cancer, they gave me, they made me take a test to look at my genetics and genetics are like what chooses our eye color and what chooses our skin color and also can choose things like what I'm dealing with, which is that my genetics make it so that I will get cancer too if I don't get this surgery. So this surgery is taking out all the tissue, which is the stuff under my skin that could give me cancer so that I don't get it in the future. Because if I had cancer, I'd be out for a really long time. I'd get really sick. And so I don't want to have that. So we're taking out all the tissue now so that it can't get me sick in the future. And then usually they're pretty good with that information. That seems to make sense to them. Um, I've really only explained it down to like second grade. First and K really don't care. Um, they're just mad that I'm not going to be here. But I haven't been specific about what tissue is getting removed. If they find out, I wouldn't care. Um, but it's just not something I'm going to bring up personally because uh, they're not asking. So and some of them will find out anyways because they follow me on social media. And that's fine. It's not that it's a secret. It's just not something that I'm going to bring up specifically. So feeling so good. I spent every plan bill this week working feverishly, either getting my grades in or um, getting my seating chart and attendance list ready or getting my lesson plans ready or like organizing closet spaces, organizing materials. There's just been so much to do, but I'm so relieved that it's done pretty much for the most part. And that next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I won't be like scrambling to do stuff. The last two big jobs I have left are wrapping up my shelves but when I really focus I can get that done in like 30 minutes because I do it every year at the end of the school year so I have like a good routine of it now wrapping up my shelves and um, organizing that last closet that I mentioned and then I also want to clean just like dust and stuff like that because my room just gets gross and um I just wanted as clean as possible for her. Ah, no. Come on. Ugh, dang it, I hate when I do that. I'm running out of tape too. I hope I can get 
up these last two boxes. I really didn't need to waste that tag nab it. But other than that, it's been a really good week. I've just been continuing with my keyboard unit with my kids. So third through sixth grade are all working through songs. Um, a lot of them were able to get Mary Had a Little Lamb this week and move on to the next song, which I have those like three other easy options. And then my big kids, um, then my little kids, we, I was reviewing with them again, like Dia's in the Dog House and How to Play Mary Had a Little Lamb. But where's the seam? Oh, there it is. But then if I see them get off track, like second, first in kindergarten, if I see them get off track and they go back to just like playing whatever, I'm not like getting on their case. I'm just letting them do that. Um, but most of them are very interested. Kay, oh no, literally I have one more thing to cover. Boo, okay, well, I have different. Kay was never given the Diaz and the Doghouse information because it's just too much for them in my opinion. For my kindergartners, I don't think it would be too much for every kindergartner in the world but for my kindergartners it's too much they struggle with letter recognition in general so it's just not worth the battle um but first grade i'd say like a third to two thirds of them are pretty motivated to try to figure out how to play it and a few of them got it so that's exciting but um yeah it's been a good week i've just been so busy like on all my breaks and stuff which makes everything just more exhausting because i'm not like taking a second to like breathe in between anything but that's okay because i'm happy that this stuff is like done this weekend i'm not gonna be like stressing about what's going on at school because most of it's good to go i do hope that my sub can observe me before she takes over she plans on it but unfortunately a lot of people have been sick this week really sick like there's a case of covid and some lots of flu lots of rsv so she hasn't been able to get free to come observe me and hopefully people get better this weekend so she can do that um but i've been wearing my mask pretty much during every class so that i don't get sick before my surgery let me put these away got my little tape drawer over here I reorganized this the other day all my tape and scissors and then all my batteries and then next week I'll give you an in-depth ex explanation of everything I'm leaving for the sub so that'll be like its own video but today I cleaned out the bottom of this closet so that I could move all the keyboards to the bottom because we were having so many issues with kids not being able to reach the keyboards in there. And then I have the box of headphones in here so they're not sitting out all the time. So that's a lot better. The only thing I still have left to do is organizing the bottom of this closet. It's a mess. But these shelves are organized so that's good at least. And my sub shelf is like ready to go except Pete fell over so and my common corn needs to be clean like just little things i'm gonna wrap up all these shelves so they're kind of messy right now because i've just been throwing all this extra stuff onto them is that a deodorant thing what is that ew what the heck ew why is there like black oh ew i have so many questions there's like little black dots in here gross gross all right i am off yeah it was a two coffee day if you have watched this whole video i appreciate you give it a little thumbs up subscribe if you like it and i hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are